like this shirt. We got some bling. Rocking in kindergarten. I need Lucas with some drums. Rocking in kindergarten. Look at that. That's because we're all rocking in kindergarten. Yes, we are. And we have our last letter is Z, zebra, Z. Ta -da! And I'm going to have my little monkey hanging with me because you wouldn't believe what kind of a book I have. Just you wouldn't. Hello, monkey. It's called My School's a Zoo. <laughs> Is it a zoo? Oh my gosh. And it's written by Stu Smith. Is this a nonfiction story? Hmm. No, it's fiction, I think. Guess we'll find out. Yesterday's trip to the zoo left me feeling rather strange, like my life was somehow different or just about to change. Well, when a giraffe is taking your covers off of you. Hmm. My parents didn't look the same. I watched them snort and drool. My sister ate my homework. I'm glad it's time for school. Oh my, oh my. As I climbed aboard the school bus, my heart began to race. The driver waved his hairy arms with banana on his face. Animals crammed in every seat. Where'd all the people go? There has to be an answer. I bet Miss Wright will know. Oh, getting on a bus with an elephant and look at that orangutan. <laughs> I ran into my classroom, but my teacher wasn't there. I would have told the sub if she hadn't been a bear. There were beehives in my desk and lizards at my feet. A goat ate all my pencils. There were needles on my seat. That's a funny looking teacher. By the time I got to art class, there was nothing I could do. There were pythons on the ceiling wreaking havoc with the glue. Look at all those snakes with the glue. Oh, they're putting glue on the art teacher's head. Oh my goodness. Hey guys. Computer lab was crazy. The mice were eating slugs. The computers didn't work on account of all the bugs. Ugh. Ugh. I tried to call for help, but a yak was on the phone. The principal, the principal was useless. He was gnawing on a bone. Mr. Howard doesn't gnaw on bones, does he? The librarian caught me hiding and she threw me quite a look. As I glanced around the room, I noticed worms in every book. Uh, get it, a bookworm? As someone who reads a lot of book work. All right, I'm just humoring myself now. The lunchroom sure was crowded and the aides looked pretty mean. The lions and the wildebeest were causing quite a scene. The lobster in my lunchbox snapped its claws up in the air. A vulture watched me, watched me patiently so he could take his share. Oh my gosh. Look at the lobster coming out to grab him. Oh no. The turtles on the playground were spinning down the slide while hyenas laughed the chorus as a hippo took a ride. <laughs> Look at these turtles. They're having a grand time, aren't they? I think that hippo is just a little, little bit big for the swing. These hyenas are having a good time. I think they're laughing. Oh, poor turtle fella. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Get back on. Music class was noisy. A penguin led our band. The ostrich missed his cue and the monkey smashed his hand. Oh, look at the monkey down there. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I like how he's being tickled by someone's tail. <laughs> I was feeling kind of nauseous, so I went to see the nurse but judging by her awful fangs, I thought she'd make things worse. Oh, Mrs. Flannelly does not look like that. There were starfish on my papers and a beaver cleaned the boards. The seal clapped to erasers while a fox gave out awards. Hmm. Oh. The bus ride home was dreadful. The skunks made quite a stink. Did the zoo trip cause this mess? I closed my eyes to think. 
The next thing that I knew, uh, she, the driver tapped my hand. Things seemed back to normal with my sister eating sand. Eating sand. She's going to get a load in her diapers, I tell you, sandy pants. I sure hope that our next trip to the dinosaur display won't have the same effect as the zoo trip did today. But that could never happen. The dinosaurs are all gone. At least I think they are. Then again, I could be wrong. Oh, look what's hanging out the window. Mm-hmm. Just checking them out. So that's called My School's a Zoo. Here's your job. Draw a picture of all the zoo animals that are in your school. And don't make one of them, one of them really bad. Like, don't make it look like a hairy beast and say it's me. If I'm going to be a zoo animal, can I be like a unicorn? Oh, I guess that's not a zoo animal. A tiger? Maybe a tiger? Or a penguin? Hmm. Don't make me a walrus. No, no. I don't, my teeth aren't that big. All right, have a good time. Draw a picture of your zoo. It's all you have to do.